Hi, in this tutorial, I will discuss about middle layer. What is middle layer? A middle layer is actually a layer between the user and the request. When a user will request something to the server, the request will pass through middle layer. And then the middle layer will verify if the request is authenticated or not. Suppose a user wants to log in into a system, then the request is, will first go to the authenticate middle layer. That middleware will check if the user is a valid user or not. If the user is a valid user, then user can log in to the backend. And but the user is not a valid user, then he will be redirected to the login page. And this check will be completed using middleware. If you want, you can use the existing Laravel middleware, or in some cases, you will have to create your own middleware. Where the middleware files are, I am going to show you in the app folder you will see http folder in the http folder there is a middleware folder and there you see some existing middlewares now i will create my own middleware in order to create middleware first go to terminal from the terminal you will have to write a command php partition make middleware then give the middleware a name suppose uh, check price this is a middle layer okay enter you see that in the middle layer folder a file comes now check price.php if you go into that file you will see that these are the existing codes of middle layer you can also manually create this file that's up to you but if you manually create this file you will have to write this course yourself but if you use the make middle layer artisan command then already the code block will come you will just edit this code and write your own code here i am going to remove this okay so this is our middleware remember that in order to work with this middleware check press.php you must have to add this middleware into your kernel.php okay this is kernel.php i am going to open it and when you will create normal middleware then this middleware will work for all your routes so i am going to use that middleware code i am going to call it uh, in the middleware section you see that there are some sections one is middleware another is middleware groups route middleware etc when i will create middleware for all the routes automatically then i will have to register it here Suppose I want to use this check place middleware for all the routes. So in order to do that, I have to register that middleware here. So I will have to give the path name app app http then middle wire. Then you will have to give check price because this is our created middleware and then class okay this way you can put the last comma or not this is up to you i am going to route now web route uh, i am going to call the home okay this is okay our home page i am going to run this my development server is running so um, this one comes this one running now you see that this is a simple page i am going to write something by my own here welcome page i am going to write welcome okay refresh this and i see welcome now in the check price middleware i will write here some code suppose i am right to um, here I am going to write my name okay echo just straight i am using the php echo now refresh it you see that this is working that means when you are going to hit this url home url it is showing view but before representing the view it is first going to the check price middleware because this middleware is registered under kernel page under middleware section so the request route request will first go into this middleware then it will check this middleware codes 
and if if everything okay then it will represent your route okay this is the functionality how modular works so this is showing this if you want to register another page suppose i am going to put another route and this is about page over and here i am going to write the about you will see that i am going to create about view about view here you will see about now uh, let's see what happens refresh then i am going to push about you see that the about text come but in the top the middle is working that means this file is running now you can check something here how we can check something suppose what we can do is i am going to write something if if the request i am going to check the request okay request price is greater than 100 suppose here i will redirect return redirect to home so what will happen if there is a variable price and the value of this price variable is greater than 100 then it will redirect me to the home route actually uh, home means here suppose this route okay this so redirect route so i will check i am going to browser i'm going to route this is welcome this will normally show but i am going to pass a variable here price equal to 22 this is okay but uh, actually i am going to redirect to uh, home page from there that means i am going to check about then you will easily understand this is about price if the price is something other than 100 then it will okay refresh this is okay but if the price becomes 100 i or oh, 100 more than 100 101 you see that it is taking me to the home page that means if i want to send any request in this way then you will see that the request is going to the check price middleware and in the check price middleware i am going to check something so i am going to check the value of the price variable if it goes above 100 i do not want to show this user in the about page if the price is greater than 100 any value then you see that it is redirecting me to the home page otherwise this is okay yeah, i am going to show you another example suppose there is contact page another page is contact page okay this is contact and here in the view i am going to create a contact blade contact dot blade dot php here i am going to write contact contact page okay this one so this middleware will work for all pages if i want to go to the my contact you see that price 100 is okay but if the price is more than 100 it is redirecting back to the home page that means for each route that i will create this middleware will check every route 